Recently in an interview, Doria accidentally revealed that Meg was planning to divorce Haz while he was in the UK to attend the coronation ceremony. It is known that Meg intends to take full custody of the children as well as own the $14 million house in Montecito. Meghan Markle's decision not to attend the coronation is a signal that Prince Harry's conditions have not been met, according to a royal expert. Back in January while doing promotional interviews for his memoir Spare, Harry suggested that a number of requests from him and his wife would have to be met by the firm in order for them to consider attending the ceremony next month. Richard Eden, editor of the Palace Confidential Newsletter, claimed a source had told him that the failure to meet these supposed conditions was part of the reason the Duchess had decided not to attend. However, he also acknowledged that the date, May 6, which is their son Prince Archie's fourth birthday, was a factor in Meghan's decision. Harry has previously said when asked if his family would be at the coronation, there's a lot that can happen between now and then. King Charles III could soon offer Meghan Markle a hefty $50 million divorce settlement in a bid to get his son Prince Harry back. The bombshell comes after Harry launched a series of attacks on the royal family in his latest memoir Spare which has ultimately fractured the monarchy. According to a high-level courtier cited in the Globe magazine, Charles blames Meghan for initiating Harry's damaging allegations against the British royal family. Charles is reportedly willing to do anything to save the Duke of Sussex from throwing his life away as Harry's memoir sends shockwaves across the globe. The courtier claims Charles is willing to forgive Harry for the horrifying damage he's inflicted on the royal family in the last three years. The monarch believes that Harry is so besotted by Meghan that he can't see he's headed for disaster and must get out now. He also believes the amount of money will appeal to Meghan because she's greedy and it will set her up for life. The generous buyout is said to include child support for Harry and Meghan's two children Archie and Lilibet while the former actress would be allowed to keep her duchess title. The controversial plan comes after the Duke unveiled a series of wild claims in his memoir about the royal family, including how his father once told him he did not have enough money to financially support Meghan. According to the Duke, Charles said he was already having to pay a lot for him, his older brother Prince William and his wife Kate Middleton. Pa didn't financially support Willie and me, and our families, out of any large yes. That was his job. That was the whole deal, Harry wrote in the book. Harry said he soon realized his father was not concerned about money and suggested he was jealous of Meghan's growing popularity. Pa might have dreaded the rising cost of maintaining us, but what he really couldn't stomach was someone new dominating the monarchy, grabbing the limelight, someone shiny and new coming in and overshadowing him, he writes. In another extract of the book, the Duke of Sussex claimed his brother physically attacked him at his London home in 2019 over an argument about Meghan. Harry claims William called Meghan difficult, rude and abrasive as the relationship between the brothers quickly spiralled. The argument reportedly escalated and Harry says William grabbed me by the collar, ripping my necklace, and, knocked me to the floor. Concerns Harry's allegations could escalate further come after he admitted his memoir could have been twice the length given the amount of material he had. Twice the length given. reportedly escalated and Harry says William grabbed me by the collar, ripping my necklace, and, knocked me to the floor.
Concerns Harry's allegations could escalate further come after he admitted his memoir could have been twice the length given the amount of material he had. Twice the length given.